Uh, hi, everybody. Here I am. I'm at the Yad Vashem Memorial um, in the uh, foothills of Jerusalem. It's a, it's a uh, very somber place, as you can imagine. It's greatly expanded since I last saw it. Uh, our group met with a, um, a uh, religious sister who's been working here for the last uh, 30 years since, I think, 1987. Uh, she's been working. Uh, she's very elderly. She's been coordinating Holocaust uh, mem memorial uh, programs and seminars with uh, Catholic universities in the United States. And she lives here. She speaks fluent Hebrew. Uh, and she gave us a private tour of the Yad Vashem uh, campus. It's a gigantic campus now. It's got uh, many, many memorials, um, different aspects of the Holocaust um, over many acres. So I'll give, just give you a brief little look at the complex here. Um, that's kind of the entry plaza when you come in. And this is just the, meet, the initial meeting area. There's, uh, it's hard to describe just how, how big it is and how many different uh, museums there are here. Um, Yad Vashem in Hebrew means hand and name, and it comes from a passage in the prophet Isaiah of, about uh, a remembrance. It basically means remembrance in Hebrew, and uh, <laughs> the, the memorial is set up to remember the victims of the Holocaust, and uh, uh, it's got the, uh, a database of every person killed um, that they can track. And people come here and use the computer databases to, to find their relatives and so on, uh, sort of like the Mormon genealogy databases. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really uh, very somber uh, place to come, but uh, it's, it's one of the must-see sites in Israel. So anyway, I just thought we'd give you a glimpse of it. Uh, as I said, it's eight acres, so I can't really show you too much. And I will um, talk to everybody later.